Now let's look at cross sections. As we've designed and we've modeled, now let's look at how cross sections can be created from the design model. And I term this model-centric cross sections because <clears throat> cross sections in Open Roads Designer are live windows into the design model. Whereas model-based cross sections could mean um, that you take a static snapshot of the model at a particular station, at a particular time in uh, the design process and put those on a sheet. Open Roads Designer is model-centric in that it produces a live view in the cross-section sheets into the design model so that when the design model changes, the cross-sections change as well. So let's take a look. Now as we create our cross-sections, we have our multiple views opened. You can see the 3D model view and I'm just going to change the display within the three-dimensional model so that you can get a clear representation of the windows or the named boundaries that we're going to create. So we'll go to the Drawing Production tab, go to the Named Boundaries tool, we'll open that up. We're going to create civil cross sections. You'll see the standards are in place for our drawing seed. We'll select our scale. We're going to define the beginning station and the ending station. And you'll see within the plan view we're laying out these cross sections along our roadway corridor and I'll just click now at the ending station and data point to accept them and now note in the 3D model view. In the three-dimensional model view we can see the live windows displayed or the named boundaries. We can see those individually. We can interact with the model itself so that we can evaluate the height and the width to be sure that we do incorporate the uh, entire extents of our model. Now within that also these named boundaries have been stored and we can access them in the named boundaries manager. You'll see that each of the named boundaries is present and we can walk through them individually. We can turn them on and turn them off. So we have the ability to manage them even after they're created. We can even, from this dialog, create the cross-section sheets. So we've opened up the create drawing dialog box. Within this dialog you can see the various scales and standards that are in place. So we'll select the scale that we want to use to create these cross-section sheets. We'll click OK and then um, Open Roads Designer will process those windows and place them and scale them into our sheet boundaries. And so that's processing as we speak. Once it's, the process is completed, we'll be able to see the cross-section sheets themselves. So here we see the last cross-section sheet within the roadway corridor and now we have the ability to move through each of those sheets independently. So we can jump from sheet to sheet and we can see the results um, dynamically within, within our file. 